So, so what do you have here? Oh, 4250, 2008. Oh, oh, that's uh, the kind of truck or yeah, it's van. a van? It's my van. Oh, okay. And then... I just kind of use it as a uh, bedroom for the most part. Like I hang okay. out with my buddy Corey's a lot, so I'm normally mm -hmm. in this parking spot. Okay. So, yeah. Cool. Wood stove in this year, so. Yeah, that's a nice wood stove. <laughs> How much was it? Uh, like a thousand bucks. A thousand pretty, bucks. Pretty expensive. Yeah. I yeah. bought a stand with uh -huh. it, but the stand was garbage, so I made. Oh, okay. Made one myself. Nice, nice, and that's yeah. your water. Yeah, it's uh -huh. frozen. Well, yeah, I let my van kind of just sit, and everything was frozen. And I just scraped off all the panels. And... Uh huh. Yeah. I'm a little lazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's uh. You know, yeah. as long as you're getting by. kind of dead right now, so. Oh, okay. Do you have solar? Yeah. Oh, okay. There's four okay. solar panels up there. Wow. Cool. Yeah. yeah. And uh, would would you be interested in, in having enough land to grow your own food, fuel, and clothing? I mean, eventually. Yeah. Oh, well, because uh, I know that... Um, we have the basic human right to having enough land to grow our own food from the uh, international uh, treaties that Canada signed and ratified, but they're just kind of dragging their feet uh, yeah, about I'm, it. I'm aware of the land claim. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, there's there's the soggy Najibwe land yeah, claim. Yeah, and then this Cape Broker. It's there's Cape. The same shit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but it, there's also an international one where basically uh, for all humans on Earth deserve to have enough land to grow their own food just because they were born, you know, and yeah, like, because yeah. uh, otherwise it's like, they might just starve to death, right? I, yeah. But on the same note, they can just send you north if that's the case. Like, if yeah. you really wanted your own land, you just go further and further north. Yeah. Well, it, it would have to be land where you can grow your own food, though. And, uh, and, and I know that basically a lot of the land we have now is, um, is being used by unsustainable tilling agriculture. Yeah. And uh, we can grow like food forests, and like with uh, like around here we can grow pecans and walnuts and hazelnuts, and um, persimmons, apples and pears, yep. hazelnuts. So so basically we can get all our food from just food forests, yep. and then we don't have to till, and then the land gets richer yep. every year. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. it's a it's a plant that lives there. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. So, so, so are you from around here? Uh, I'm. I'm from Cape Croker. Cape Croker. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Are you? Do you have indigenous heritage? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, so, status. so, so it's uh, Nishne. How was it? Sorry. Oh, what's what's the tra traditional name for Cape Croker? Um, Nishinaming. Or... Uh, ne no, that's not that's ne not the right. Oh, that's sorry, not... sorry. I uh, I was. Uh... It, that's what everyone calls it. It's something else. My mom would know. My mom does. She actually has that place downtown across from the post office. Oh, okay. Oh, kind of Oh, kind of yeah. oh, Okay. And it's uh, it's like counsel counseling and indigenous teachings. And oh, stuff okay. Like that of the yeah. area, more history of the area. Oh, the nice, part. nice. Yeah. I know. There's also a um, Mawikwidon. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Yeah, that's cool. It's, it's, yeah, yeah. I, I, and I know. I, I went to the uh, place. Uh, with the great, what do they call it, the uh, fish, sturgeon, when they were consecrating the sturgeon. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so there was a ceremony there. Um, yeah, I I haven't really, I know my mom's been to a few, like I 